What's up, everybody? This is Torrance Davis from Davis Daily. I wasn't going to review this. Um, I bought this huge power bank off of Amazon. And I bought it because it had good reviews and it was 60,000 milliamp hours. And I needed something I could sit in my cabinet that has all my camera equipment, my drones, uh, you name it, earphones, microphones, and I also have some uh, motion lights inside my closet that are USB chargeable. So I said, you know, let me get a huge friggin' battery so I could just charge those little things inside the cabinet after I put them in. So I needed something huge and 60,000 milliamp hours was it, right? So I got this thing. It's, it's, it's not really, there's no brand name to it. It's called Power Bank, all right? So anytime you see that, you should be wor a little worried about that. But look, I mean, we got fast charging USB-A slots, right? It's got a USB micro. Nobody uses this, this shit anymore, right? and slow charging uh, USB-A, right? Then it's got one Type-C, and that right there looks like a Type-C. It's a damn Apple Thunderbolt charger, which is, is a total waste to me because Apple has to switch over to USB-C, so this should have been another USB-C slot, okay? Now, if you've seen any of these things, I'm sure you have, in order to charge these, you use a USB cable and they'll have an in slot. Look, the USB micro is what you use to charge it, right? That's already suspect because the USB micro is not going to give you a fast charge. But typically, the Type C is also an in charger. So this is this is two ways. It's in and out. But what what ended up happening with this is I would hook it up. I hooked it up to my damn um, MetaQuest Three, Three S. And so I have a, a third-party battery for my MetaQuest 3S, and I plugged it into the battery. And what it was doing was taking the battery's power off my VR headset and charging this because it's not smart enough to know that when you hook up a device, it's supposed to charge the device, not take from the device, right? So then I hooked it up to my DJI Neo because I wanted to charge my DJI Neo. Same thing. It took power from my DJI Neo. And I was noticing that my percentages was going up and it wasn't going down. And I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm sending this back. And I did what I should have did in the first place. And I got an anchor. Okay, so I got an anchor, 140 watt high speed input and output charger. Should you, I was looking at the anchor. The reason I didn't want it is because it was only 24,000 milliamps. But you know what? 24,000 is enough for what I needed to do which is to charge my little things in my little cabinet. So I'm gonna unbox this right here in front of you guys. <clears throat> and I'm gonna give you a link in the description so that you may order it off my affiliate link and, and get me monies. All right, so this is the anchor. Uh, it's, it's high speed, which is great. Uh, 140 watts maximum. And it's smart enough to know not to draw power from your devices to charge it. So here it is, it's a heavy beast. Has to be for 24,000 milliamp hours. So let's take that out. We don't need this, but it's a safety sheet. A little bag. And in the bag is a USB C to C cable. They were already winning. They're already winning. So let's open this up. Let's take the diaper off of it. And here it is. So here's the unit. Anchor, 25%. Um, and it's got two USB-C and one high-speed USB-A. That's all I need. That is all you need. Screw the stupid Thunderbolt stuff and all that other... Like, uh, you know, when I bought that thing, I knew, I'm like, wow, Torrance, why did you do this? You should have just went with the anchor. 
So I just did an Amazon return. And got the anchor. I mean, this thing even looks beautiful, right? You know, it looks beautiful. And uh, as you can, I don't know if you can see here, but this top USB-C is an in out and the bottom's an out. And this is a, they call it IQ. I don't know what that means, IQ charger, but it's a, it's a super fast USB-A charging port. So you can charge everything fast. And 24,000 milliamp hours, it's gonna last me, it's gonna last me a long time. So there you go. This is the Anchor 737 Power Bank. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one. It is $109, but it's Anchor. Anchor means quality. Whenever you see Anchor, they make good quality products. So it's definitely worth the money, and this thing will last you a long time. I will see you on the next video. I'm going to charge this up. So, peace out. I also wanted to show you that when you do hook it up to something and you're charging, it shows you your current wattage, uh, which port it's plugged into, how long it's going to take to finish charging. That's all. That's all one person could ever want. Peace out.